Hey there folks, ever upon swapping out your computer monitors for the MetaQuest 3? Maybe you're rocking a single monitor setup like me and fancy expanding without breaking the bank. And how does its resolution stack up against a standard monitor? Is it actually sharp enough to work from? Perhaps you're keen on gaming from the coziness of your couch or even maybe your bed. So that's precisely what we're diving into in this video. And by the end, I'll walk you through setting this up for yourself. So hit that like button and let's dive straight in. Before delving into my top apps for working on your PC from your MetaQuest headset, I experimented with a couple of options like the Meta Remote Desktop and Workspaces. However, I found them to be quite unstable. The Remote Desktop app managed to get up and running a few times, but its limited features made me drop it quite quickly actually. As for the Horizon Workspace app, it refused to connect to my PC at all. So I moved on from those. Let's not dwell on that, I want to share my preferred apps for replacing your monitors with your VR headset. Many of you are likely already acquainted with the virtual desktop app for all your wireless PC VR adventures. While most users I know use it primarily for playing Steam VR games, we often overlook its splendid virtual monitor screen capabilities. I hooked up my Bluetooth keyboard and mouse directly to my headset and here's what stood out to me. The screen resolution is actually pretty fantastic, although it might not match the sharpness of a physical monitor of course, and naturally with pixels that close to your face, achieving the same pixel density as a current 2K or 4K monitor will take some time. The resolution was roughly comparable to something between 720p and 1080p. The Bluetooth connection was lag free and I didn't notice any latency that hindered my workflow during about an hour of work. After about half an hour, I had to loosen my MetaQuest strap because it was pressing on my face and my eyes felt a bit more fatigued compared to my standard 2K monitor. However, this could be attributed to the difference in focal point and of course the resolution. I took a break after an hour as the pressure and strain intensified. While this may vary for everyone, I found it necessary in my case. This also got me thinking about the 2 hour battery life and whether it's sufficient for my productive endeavors. However, I quickly realized that bringing along an extra charging station with a USB-C plug or simply plugging it into my computer would resolve that issue. What truly amazed me, however, was how portable virtual desktop made productivity. I could work from anywhere, whether it's the couch or with the latest MetaQuest updates, even lying down in bed. Although the sensation of lying down and viewing everything as if you're standing up is a little bit odd, but I suppose I have to get used to that. But that's not all, I tested this at my parents house who live in a different city. While this might not be within the scope of this video, I actually fired up a PC VR game from my home PC at my parents place and in this case it was Pavlov VR. <laughs> and to my disbelief I could play the game with almost no latency or lag and the visual fidelity was nearly identical to what it would be at my home. Of course this depends on the quality of your network but it's astounding to see how far technology has come to enable such feats. However, I still missed a core feature that I would have loved to see in virtual desktop, which led me to try out the next app. So I sought a multitasking productivity solution since I still have a singular monitor setup at home. I stumbled upon the Immersed app and boy, I was blown away by its features. Many of them, which I didn't even know I needed. So essentially like virtual desktop and many other VR apps, you can enter your own virtual environment or join a public room to be social while being productive. I know it sounds like an odd combo, but I suppose it works when you're brainstorming. So just like virtual desktop, you connect to your PC via an app on your PC called the Immersed Client. And once the client found my PC and I was connected, I was greeted with a three monitor setup, which was just mind blowing. Uh, this app enables Windows to detect multiple monitors without physically owning them. And the best part is it supports up to five monitors simultaneously. Uh, that is just mind boggling. And another incredible feature I discovered was a special kind of pass through mode. Since otherwise you can't see your mouse and keyboard. So Immerse offers an option called keyboard portal allowing you to outline where your mouse and keyboard are and making that area pass through so you can remain in your virtual environment while still seeing your keyboard and mouse. And that was just, <laughs> that was insane. However, if you prefer not to be in the virtual environment, you also have the option of course to go completely pass through. The monitor resolutions were good enough for reading and performing tasks 
although quality was slightly lower compared to a virtual desktop app. But it was not a big problem or something like that. You can adjust the monitor curvature, distance and position of each monitor by dragging and dropping them. It was an incredible feeling knowing that you could have these cinema sized screens all on your head wherever you are with a network connection setup. So what's my take on whether your VR headset can replace your current monitor setup? Well, I think it depends because if you're an avid gamer or even a competitive one, a monitor with a specific refresh rate and low latency is crucial. Perhaps you value visual fidelity or maybe you are a graphic designer in need of extra colors. To put it simply, if you're looking to do some site work, game for fun and aren't working on the next Oscar film with Star Wars level professional color grading, then using either virtual desktop as a singular monitor or immerse for multiple monitor setup is an excellent way to work from anywhere that you please. So how can you start using these apps for your own productive tasks? Let's start with virtual desktop. First, we install the app on our MetaQuest headset by heading over to the Quest Store, search for virtual desktop, and install it from there and that's it. On your computer we head over to the link I provided in the description and choose the installer based on your operating system. Run through the setup then open the virtual desktop streamer app from your desktop or the icon on the downright corner of your screen. Change the settings to whatever suits your needs and you're done. When you open up the virtual desktop app on your headset, you will see your own computer. It will connect and there you go. Now you can use virtual desktop. The Immerse app is pretty similar to virtual desktop in terms of installation. So again, we head over to the MetaQuest store and download the app. Then on your computer, head over to the link I provided in the description and create your Immerse account because we need to sign into our client app later on. Then proceed with the next link I provided and download the Immerse client on your computer. Run through the setup and make sure to restart your PC as prompted by the app. Log in to the client. I was already logged in, so this might look a bit different to you. After that, you can connect to the app in your headset by selecting your computer name. And there you go. That's about it. And if you want to increase the performance of your VR headset while playing PC VR games, click this video right here because I will go through everything that you need to know to have the best possible setup and experience.